Welcome to Digital Pinoy Live. Why don't we call today Cyber Saturday? And let's review Cyberpunk 2077. And at the same time, why don't we cyberpunk ourselves? Let's get it on! Here we go, Cyberpunk 2077, folks. All you have to do is start a new game, pick normal. As you can see, we have three categories. Nomad, Street Kid, and Corpo. All you have to do is pick a character for this. I pick a male. And a punk male at that matter. We start off in a bar. Had a brawl over there and try to fix a broken nose. Yeah, fix that nose, dude. Okay, this dude's Pepe. Pepe borrowed money from the loan shark, which is Kirk. And we we're trying to help Pepe out. So we talk to Kirk, and Kirk wants us to boost a car. So let's get it on. Along the way, you're gonna meet some acquaintances and stuff that would eventually help you. So there's the car. All we have to do is get in, boost the car, mission over. That's it. Simple as one, two, three. Get that car open. You're a man of little faith. Go in, See? drive fast, Rich. that's it. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. You know, with all this tech and stuff, this would be easy. Looks like this will be a cool boost. Not. Unfortunately, you have competition. Get the there you up. go. Seriously, dude. Good Eventually, we do get busted by the cops. Because of an alarm that the car did. My tech must Eventually, we long. end up with Jackie Wells. So maybe now the dude like chills with us and introduces us to people everyone he knows and we start jobs with Jackie yeah we're like the local thugs dude so for six months we did this game do more dirty jobs this is how you live in this city party like there's no tomorrow, man. Ooh, yeah. After six months, we still do the same thing over and over again, man. Build up street cred until we get more good jobs. Okay, now this job is a ticket to the major leagues. All we have to do. Elevator. It's rescue a person. Do it quick, fast, make sure the person's alive. Cyberpunk's gameplay is kinda hard. It's not just like a first person shooter. You have to consider like hacking cyber securities and stuff. You could work in stealth if you want to. Creep up a person, hold him by the neck, break his neck. And hit hide the body. Now, in terms of gameplay, first person shooters are kinda hard. Because the opponents don't go down easily. I'm not sure if it's because it's there, like part part cyborg or something. But these dudes don't go down that easily. Especially if you're like using a handgun and stuff. And when it comes to medkits. You have to inject the medkit in yourself. So while you're fighting, you should be aware of your life. If like the warning signs go up, inject the medkit, man. It's not automatic. You have to do it yourself. Oh, shotgun, man. Let's get that shotgun. Medkit. Pick up that shotgun. Let's see what damage this can do. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, two shots and you're down, dude. How about this one? Boom. Two shots and they're down. This is like, this is like the beginning of the game. One more, I guess. Yeah, there you go. You could like pick up a lot of guns in this game. All you have to do is, you know, pick it up from the villain. From your opponent, basically. 
the guns are kind of hard to control it's not like borderlands where you know there's accuracy and stuff here it's just shoot and go there you go first mission of the day done all you have to do is get back home let's go let's do this go back to my crib dude Without that the NCPD's gonna put watch Let's check what down. kind of crib this dude has. Tonight, After six months of non-stop mercenary fun. work. Okay, let's go. So in this city, it's not that simple to get home. On your way home, you still have to get rid of the bandits and stuff, man. Yeah. This dude just won't quit. I just want to go home, dude. Okay, going for the driver. Boom. Fly driver. Boom. Okay, let's check our crib out. Go up that elevator and check our crib. Going up. Open that door. Let's check out our crib. Oh, not too shabby. Check it. Check it out. This is a big crib, man. Even have like a armory of some sort. Now here, I was just curious, dude, because normally if you harm a civilian in this game, the police are gonna be alerted and they are gonna be like on you in a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. So I was wondering, what if you do a civilian in? What would happen? Let's check it out. Bam, man, bam. Okay, one civilian down. Alarms are up. Let's do this. Second civilian down. And go back to our crib. And there you see, man, the police. You don't even know where the police came from. He's in our crib firing shots at us. So I think that's a major glitch of this game. Like this dude just appears out of nowhere, man. Start shooting and then stops firing at the same time. And when you look, the dude suddenly disappears, man. That's that's like a glitch of the game. That's like a major glitch, man. It's the beginning of the game and this game already has glitches. So moving on, we're gonna look for more glitches in this game along the way. All we have to do is look for Jackie. He's gonna set up a job for us long so basically Jackie's your partner he set up so jobs for us I think I this and this time, this time it's a big job Go on. okay handing us handing us the car keys let's roll dude now in this game I'm not fond of driving because I find controlling the cars are kind of hard and his car looks like you know, a car that came out from Mad Max movie, man. Okay. Now we're gonna look for Victor. Victor's the doctor? Here we go, Victor. He's the cyber doctor dude. He's the one that does cyber implants and stuff. Any cyber implant you want, this dude would hook you up get this cyber implant over with after having that cyber implant from victors all we have to do is stop the decks and he's gonna hook us up with a major job let's check it out yo mr v okay decks the Dex fixer man flesh. Ample indeed. so in this city if you want to ride if you forgot your car to, or you parked your car somewhere all you have to do is steal another car dude Pull out your gun, break that window by firing, let the people go out, and just grab the car, dude, get in and go. Let's boost this car. That's how you get a ride in this city. Look at this dude, why don't you punch him around, man? Okay, here we go. Boom! Oh yeah, man, what happened there? 
It's one of I'm not sure if this is a major glitch or it's one of those glitches, man. Or this dude has just like cyber leg implants. You punch the guy, chair goes down. The dude is still in a sitting position. I guess it's the cyber legs, man. Okay, Wait, so gonna go we're gonna move on to the story now. So make very, very sure and go in this bar. Put out there, input. Basically, we're gonna meet the client, and the client's gonna give us information. Ma, well, would you look at that? You okay, this is Evelyn. So she has you information for us where we could find the robot the text wants. Hey. So Evelyn's gonna hook us up with Judy. This is v. Judy's a brain dance He's here editor. For that BD role. What she Indeed, does is she is gets Judy. memories from people and make a virtual right world out of that memory and you can scan those memories to find for clues. No. So here we go. This. These are Evelyn's memories. All we have to do is look for clues. There you go. You can see that green spot over there. This is kind of cool because you can like move around in this virtual world and find for clues. You can play, pause, rewind, and reset the video until you find clues. All you have to do is check out the clues. Look for information you need in order for you to help in the mission. So there you go. Found, found the bot. And Dex is checking in on us. Turns out everyone's recording from Compaki was worth our time. Okay. They get you were the one now this chick gotta be me. military dude wants in on the gig Tell me what you so basically we're gonna cut the deal with this chick I need a bot. Flathead model. we get the bot the because we need the bot Promise all they bot. want are the people who Help picked up the bot and in turn so they're just gonna have that bot right yep. cool man all we have to do is buy Show. that bot and we're yeah. done Let's see Let's cut I think this is going down smooth, man. Look at that eye, man. The graphics of this game is pretty awesome. The people. It's just the, the gameplay for me is kind of rough. It's not that smooth as Borderlands. It did not go down well. So all we have to do is fight our way out. I think the gameplay of this is not that smooth as Borderlands. The headshot doesn't work that much. I'm not sure because this, maybe these guys are like cyber people and stuff. It's not that smooth during a gunfight. And the opponents like they, they die really really it's hard to kill these dudes. Bullets go through glass, that's cool. All you have to do is do this in, man. Do this guy in. Get out of this place. Oh man, this dude just won't go down. See what I mean? A couple of fires over there and the dude's still up. I'm not sure, man. It's like cyber thing. You're already holding a shotgun and they don't go down that easily the balance between guns and how you shoot people aren't that you know smooth but it gets pretty interesting along the way there you go let's get out of this joint oh there is he see that this is like up close and personal and that chick still stood man Okay, moving on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, dude. There you go. He's down. Okay. All we have to do is you know, go through this dude and get out of the jungle. Almost there, man. Almost there. kind of you should get used to eventually you should get used to like the gameplay where you 
Okay, this is one of the major glitches I found in this game. After entering the boss stage, what happens the door behind you closes and Jackie suddenly teleports in front of you. And you get stuck in between the door and Jackie. This is so annoying, dude. I got really annoyed in this. And what happened this part? You can't reopen the door because this is a boss stage and Jackie's just in front of you and you can't budge. Jackie's not moving forward, so you can't you can't even move an inch, dude. I tried jumping, I tried everything. And you're just stuck there. So meaning you're just waiting for your character to die. I think this is a major glitch in this game. If this happens all the time, I mean this is just the beginning of the game, man. So see, there you go. Nothing man, nothing. Eventually I die. The problem with that is if you die, the checkpoint is so far that you have to like go through all the opponents all over again. So that's kind of annoying. And these dudes are kind of hard to kill, but not that far. I think they're just right. All you have to do is avoid their... Hopefully you avoid their firepower, they won't make it. One dude's down. All you have to do is take down the other dude. There you go. All you have to do in, in this stage basically all you have to do is avoid the fire or the shots of the opponent and hide using the post. You know? The dude's not like budging into there. All you have to do is shoot and hide. Hide and shoot. Shoot and hide. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Push me dude. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. We run out of ammo. This is bad man. This is bad. Let's get it. Yeah, run out of ammo. Well, there you go. First boss, first mission down. Cyberpunk 2077. Well, there you go, folks. Peace out. If you have any game in mind you would like me to tackle, just comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.